unlikely group of outcasts taking on the entire Nazi empire. It's Germans versus Germans. Let's just go and fress it. Blood and gold. Nazis, gold and bloody action. This sounds like the premise of oh so many American B-movies from the 70s and 80s, right? But what if I told you that this is a German movie, produced in 2023? What would you expect from it? Would you be surprised that it was even made? Hi there, it's Micha. If you are curious now, then stick with me for this review video. Germany, close to the end of World War II. Heinrich, a soldier who never bought into the Nazi mentality, can't stand the fighting anymore and deserts. After being caught, the platoon that captured him strung him up on a tree, where he was rescued by Else, a farmer living nearby. Unfortunately, the same platoon is also in search of gold that supposedly was left behind by a Jewish family. Not finding it straight away, they occupy the small city and need provisions to feed the company which leads them to Ilse's farm. While Heinrich is hiding, the soldiers pillaging the farm don't stop at that and are trying to rape Ilse. This is where Heinrich had to step in, attacking the intruders and together they manage to kill most of them, chasing the last man standing away. As the farm is now exposed, the two of them and Ilse's brother Paule are now on the run. Ilse, not willing to leave her livelihood behind, is hellbent on fighting the Nazi plague and Heinrich has to decide if he will help her or fight his way home to find his daughter. Or does his path allow for both? The story seems straightforward and sounds like an exploitation movie. A bit trashy, but possibly quite entertaining. And that could have been true if the movie leaned into it completely, which it doesn't. On one hand, having a German movie tackling such a topic is rare enough which explains why it took the director and his creative partner so long to get this project off the ground. Over 10 years. Touching this subject is still quite tricky in the land that originated World War II. I want to applaud the team for trying this, especially since they didn't pull on all the usual cliches. Like making the main character an undercover American or a Jewish freedom fighter, but having a normal German soldier who is just fed up with war. I get that this is a story that is tough to finance in Germany, so I guess that is why a partner like Netflix was needed to fund the project. Who will stream the movie a few weeks after it was screened at the Fantasy Film Fest nights as a premiere? On the other hand, it wouldn't be a German movie though without at least trying to bring in some level of ambition and sophistication, whether it has a place in such a movie or not. If you know German cinema, you know that for the bulk of it, this is the way. So they added Paula, Else's brother to the mix, who has Down syndrome, which back then equaled a death sentence under Hitler's euthanasia rules. By the way, at least they did the right thing here by casting an actor with Down syndrome. Otherwise, that would have been very cringeworthy. They also added other aspects that belonged more into a straight drama, while throwing in some more trashy plotlines too, never really daring to decide on one or the other, with both ways potentially leading to something great. And that is where the movie failed. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad movie, not at all. It just isn't taking the risks you would have expected it to take, especially after staying this long in development hell. And even the PR machinery behind it all couldn't really decide which way to go, as the German trailer highlights the drama aspects, while the English trailer makes the movie look like a self-aware schlockfest. First, they took his country. Then they took away his daughter. With the production history in mind, as that was presented to us by the director who attended the screening with most of his primary cast and staff, I would have expected him to be a struggling independent movie maker, so I was surprised he didn't lean into the exploitation angle. Learning that Peter Torwart also directed some big German movie hits over the past 25 years, like Bang Boom Bang, Was nicht passt wird passend gemacht, aka If it don't fit, use a bigger hammer, and The Wave. It surprised me even more that he tried to walk that line, as his earlier movies were so successful because they didn't follow the usual German arthouse trends, which lands so many of them in the realm of the pseudo-intellectual. Again, not a bad movie, just one that wasted its chance to be great. Going in with the knowledge that you will neither see an accurate period drama nor a trashy actioner, 
you might be pleasantly surprised. However, it was nice to see it on the big screen and not at home, as this was likely the only time the movie was screened theatrically. With that being said, let's get into the rating. But before we go there, let me ask you to like and share this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you are not a subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. Now for the rating. I went in fearing it might be the usual hype whenever a genre movie made in Germany is screened. Everyone always tells you that their movie is the one that will ignite a new trend of like-minded movies to make its way into cinemas. Well, as I mentioned, the movie didn't really lean into it being a proper genre movie, so that mindset is not completely applicable. Yet still, it was presented that way. I wasn't really disappointed by the result, just a bit underwhelmed. As I was prepared for the worst, I ended up having a good time, or at least a better one, as expected. The acting was solid and the cinematography as well, so the technical aspects were satisfying. It was just this indecision, this failed, at least in my eyes, balancing act of being trashy and artfully clean at the same time, that threw a wrench into the works. To be fair, it also wasn't helpful for me to watch the movie in a packed theater, one of the largest in Germany, with at least a third of the audience being friends or family of the producing team. And this is not even a hyperbole. They celebrated each and every tiny payoff and gag as if it was the funniest or cleverest idea ever, which potentially screwed up my perception, likely resulting in me not being able to enjoy moments I otherwise might have liked. Just like a badly made laugh track on a mediocre sitcom tends to underline more its weaknesses instead of highlighting its qualities. Rating is at average would sell it a little bit short though, while I also can't honestly say that it was a really good movie. So let's settle for a solid 6 out of 10 points, where you potentially can get more out of it than I did, if you know what to expect when you watch it. Also, please take into account that while I really love some German movies, I'm not the biggest fan of German cinema in general, even though, or maybe because, I am German. But I still haven't given up on us and will keep watching those that at least appear to be promising. That's it. What do you think? Should a German movie lean into the exploitation angle when it comes to Nazis, or should they stay away from the subject completely? Have you seen the movie and have a different take? What do you think of German cinema in general? Whatever you like to share, let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching. As the farm is now supposed, <coughs> Else not willing to leave her li <sighs> Else not willing to leave her livelihood behind, but having a normal German, but having a normal German soldier who is just fed up with war.